Oh boy, here we go again. I never wanted to do a video like this, especially since I focus more on positivity, but sometimes as a creator, you have to draw the line somewhere, because if you don't, it's only going to continue. So I plan to just put all of my cards on the table and keep it 100. No. Wait a minute. How about 200? There are three topics that I'm going to discuss that, you know, bothers me or troubles me for the most part. Absurd assumptions about subscriber, sponsor only streams, sharing concerns with others instead of the person one has an issue with, and platform obedience. These three things are no good for communities at all, and so now it's time for the informal rant. So, some people get the wrong idea about subscriber-only streams on Twitch, as well as sponsor-only streams on YouTube. Heck, even I did. But I don't go around throwing shade on people because I didn't fully understand the purpose of them myself back then. Plus, let's be real here. I really don't have much of a right to call out a streamer on a subject matter like this, especially if the streamer is doing it the right way. Now, if someone's trying to force viewers to subscribe on Twitch just to chat every day, okay, I can understand sharing criticism. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing off base about somebody calling that out. Now, a viewer made crazy assumptions about me recently without even understanding fully what my subscriber streams are on Twitch. And I have quite a few problems with that. First, I explained how sub streams work all the time live when someone asks about them on stream. Second, he never asked me how they worked. Third, he DMs me his videos all the time, so there's no excuse for not contacting me about the matter when he himself knows he can do so. And, excuse me, do so, I mean. And fourth, the big one, the sub streams never overlaps with my normal streaming schedule, which he knows. Substreams are bonus content for those who subbed to me, hence these streams are only done when I have the spare time to do them. The purpose of substreams is their content that is given to those who made the choice to provide additional support. So I would like to provide additional streams for them when reasonably possible. These are not done during the normal schedule time. These are off schedule streams, which mostly take place maybe 30 minutes to an hour after the official stream has ended. Um, and if you really think about it, it only makes sense to do these kinds of streams because streamers want to try and give extra to those who provides a little additional support, whatever that may be. Not to mention that on Twitch, as long as I meet different requirements, Twitch offers me badges that I can hand out to viewers who are not subs so they can actually join the subscriber only streams without even becoming a sub. So it's not just strictly subs only. I mean, and just to elaborate on what these badges do, they do a variety of things. So I usually give these VIP badges out to people who are positive. They follow the rules of the stream and they visit the streams fairly often for a decent amount of time. I'm not a huge stickler in regards to um, this, that last rule that I talked about, visiting the streams fairly often. As long as it's often enough and maybe for about, I don't know, 30 minutes plus, 
something somewhere around there that's reasonable enough now the previous issue goes hand in hand with my second topic discussion this one's a bit more brief and what i have an issue with as well is sharing concerns with others instead of sharing the concern with the person that one has a concern with or they have an issue with so in short let's say a viewer has an issue with what a streamer is doing and instead of contacting the streamer they contact someone else instead and i feel like that's a huge no-no i mean some of you may not know but when it comes to streaming and you're a streamer and you're part of a network the word travels pretty fast especially if one shares something with the wrong person if a viewer contacts a mod which is either a friend of mine or someone that i can trust it would be quite foolish to assume the information would not be relayed to me if what was said is a big under misunderstanding or a straight up lie i mean heck recently a person lied about being bullied yet i was the one consistently being harassed over the course of this year 2019 i tell you <laughs> Being a content creator can be quite stressful at times, and you would not know this until you actually do it. These kinds of things create friction amongst communities. Plus, this sort of thing can spread negative vibes throughout the community if it goes on long enough. And that is something I don't want to see happen to the amazing cast of people that I know. And finally, I would like to talk about something I would like to call platform obedience. Yes, I did say that. Platform obedience. Now, I just made this term up for myself, so I definitely need to elaborate what I mean by that. And what I mean by platform obedience is using your affiliation with a specific platform to alienate or throw shade at people who choose to use a different platform. I mean, this has been on my mind for quite some time because I know this trend ever since I made my move over to Twitch. Ever since I moved over to Twitch, I noticed that some have been way more critical of me. Back when I was streaming on YouTube, no one had any issues with the things that I have been doing. There were many times, well, maybe not many times, I don't want to over exaggerate, but there were times I joined other streams after moving to Twitch and some viewers would say my move to Twitch was equivalent to me abandoning them. By the way, I do not blame the streamers for what happened because those things are beyond their control. It's not like they have the ability to control their viewers now, so that's not on them. I was called a YouTube hater by quite a few people and now recently i've been accused of trying to force people to pay to be a subscriber on twitch just so they can chat with me yet this disgruntled viewer failed to realize that youtube content creators can do the same thing however i guess the difference is when it comes to youtube sponsors those streams can be unlisted so that way the streams would only be notified to the actual sponsors. It's kind of baffling. But when it comes to Twitch sub streams, like sub only streams, it's notified publicly. So it's not like I have the ability to make it where only those that are subscribed to me will actually get a notification. When I go live, everybody sees that. So it's very important to put you know, subscriber only in the title so that people would know that. And, and it's kind of weird. You know how that kind of goes if somebody prefers YouTube over Twitch and, you know, they already might have some kind of vendetta with sponsor only streams 
and they I all of a sudden do a subscriber only stream that they're not aware of and then all of a sudden they're thinking oh he never you did those kinds of streams before this is treason you know that kind of stuff and so then it's all of a sudden a bad thing but yet people over on YouTube does it too but they don't get hacked for it. You know what I mean? They don't get ridiculed for it. It's kind of like one of those things. That's what I'm trying to get out here in regards to that. So, it's tough. <laughs> there even have been times um, that, you know, it seemed as though other streamers was actually expressing their frustration with individuals moving the twitch i mean or at least this is what i sensed through random tweets that i've seen or even noticing a difference in greetings uh when i join their youtube streams i mean it's just kind of like little things like that that could kind of tip you off to some kind of um issue somewhere but you know, that's just my opinion on the matter. You know, I'm not taking anything personally. I'm just sharing my thoughts on what I think is happening. Uh, but all in all, all I have to say is I'm glad there are some who understand why I did what I did and don't judge me for it. I mean, there are even some who either still watch me over on Twitch or supports me in their own special way and I truly appreciate that. And you all know who you are. I don't have to do a bunch of shout outs and stuff like that. You know exactly who you are in my hat even though I don't have a hat goes off to you. Um, a friend once told me it shouldn't matter what platform that you're on because you are still part of the community, especially if you haven't changed. And that's one thing that I can proudly say is I never changed. I'm still the same old me over on Twitch. Hey, those words gave me strength and I am most certainly proud to say that despite me no longer streaming on YouTube, I still support the YouTube community either by watching the streams or making appearances when my presence is either desired or needed. Thank you guys for that. Why did I do a video like this? I mean, hey, even content creators get frustrated with certain things. And like I said, sometimes lines have to be drawn and you have to share your concerns if it's that bad, because if you don't, these things could continue or people don't understand your viewpoint in regards to what's happening. And maybe once they understand that, they would begin to get a clearer picture. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to do this informal rant video. So, I mean, in short, you know, sometimes I get upset because it's like some people don't put you know, into account how I feel and why I even moved to Twitch. I mean, this is something that I did for me. YouTube was no longer working for me. Now, I did say for me with emphasis for a reason. And now it's like I feel like I'm being labeled for it. Either I'm labeled as a quitter, defector, or some actually think I simply don't care for the viewers of the community. I hear that some say that are, they are not affected, but that's them. For me, I have been seriously affected by all of this when it comes to YouTube and what they're doing. I mean, explain how I lost subs nearly every day when I look at my analytics. That is not normal, especially since the year before that never happened. Even during a period where I was reached a point of stagnation where my sub count didn't really move at all. And I usually stayed kind of the same throughout most of last year. Um, there was even a time last year I recovered pretty good despite 
missing nearly a month of streaming before. But now, this year, I went from 4,420 all the way down to 4,200. Quite a significant dip, if I say so myself. And it isn't getting any better either. And one of the things that Markiplier said was when it came to all that stuff with Google Plus that I talked about eons ago, that immensely large channels, they can weather the storm. But channels that are smaller, they're really going to struggle. I don't like using the term big or small, but sometimes you can't get around using it depending on the context. So <laughs> I just had to say it that way, even though I, I hate saying it that way. Anyway, people told me to stay, but if I would have stayed, no good would have come of it, especially since streams are no longer being supported like they once were last year. I mean, videos isn't really my thing, so moving to Twitch was the better choice for me. I gotta do what's right for me. I mean, some were disheartened by the move, which I can understand, and I didn't want the move either. But the things that YouTube was doing and the things and how those choices affected my channel, well, YouTube forced my hand, so. I just would like to thank those of you again who stuck by me through these tough times and has still, you know, and had respect for the path that I chose. I mean, that's what I wanted to do. And so I would continue to do what I set out to do and hope that there's no hard feelings towards anyone who may disagree with me, because I'm sure there's probably a disagreement or two somewhere. I still plan to support my YouTube friends, but I must do what I feel works for me because if I don't, I'm not going to be happy with it. And what's the point of having a channel if you're not happy with it, right? You want to enjoy what you're doing and because of my move to Twitch, I'm enjoying things. Things are great for me. Um, just as good as it was back when YouTube was not screwing me over. And so that's about it, guys. That's my rant for today. Hopefully we don't have to do another one of these. I don't plan on it, but you know how life dictates. I mean, if something happens and something needs to be said, it just needs to be said. So thank you all for your tremendous support over the years. I mean, if it wasn't for all of you, I wouldn't be around still. I wouldn't be streaming still. So, I mean, I really thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope to see you around soon. Wherever I see you, I just look forward to seeing you. Whether it's on my Twitch stream or on my next YouTube video or on somebody else's stream. I just look forward to seeing you soon. So... Have a blessed day, people, and thank you once again for watching this video in its entirety. Be blessed.